Greetings, everyone, and welcome to a closer look right here on the Multimedia Chronicles. Uh, so this week, I've got a very special set to share with you here. Uh, boy, th this is a really nice deluxe collection of one of the all-time great uh, comedy dramas of all time. And of course, talking about M.A.S.H., the Martinis and Medicine Collection. Now, this was sent to me by a very generous viewer uh, a few years ago. Uh, just wanted to be known as Chris. And, uh, yeah, it, I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you'd like to see the original package opening video. Very cool stuff. Uh, th this is a fantastic set. This includes all 11 seasons, as well as the uh, original movie. And it also includes the, uh, the two-hour or a finale as well. I mean, it's basically got everything and tons of extras, uh, behind the scenes stuff, outtakes, all kinds of goodies. This is just a beautiful, beautiful set. I mean, put together to look like this, you know, uh, army issue medical kit. And, uh, and it's just fantastic. If you're a fan of the show, like I am, you cannot go wrong with this set. Um, now in terms of the contents, um, who was it that put this out? This is Fox, I think, wasn't it? Um, even say sorry no spoilers i had to cut there um yes it was fox i i don't know why i blanked on that but anyway 20th century fox uh was really did the right thing with this dvd collection on so many levels i mean first off uh when the co complete collection came out some fans were ticked off that it included extras that were not available in the individual sets however fox before people even had time to complain Fox released a special edition DVD of the two-hour finale, which included all the extras that are on this set. So people who have been just collecting the individual season sets would not have to miss out on any content. That is how you do it right. You know, enough with this exclusive stuff here, exclusive stuff there bullshit just to generate more sales. No, just make all the content available to everyone, regardless of what version of your product they want to buy. It, it, how is that a bad thing? They're still buying your product. They're just buying it in the form of their choosing, you know. So Fox really did, did good by the fans with this in so many ways. So if you were collecting the original season sets, you were getting the exact same content that's in this set, no matter what. Okay, it just means you got a lot of sets to collect. <laughs> There's 11 seasons and the finale and the movie, of course. Uh, that That's, you know, that's 13 things you need to get. Or you can just track down this collection and have it all in one fell swoop, which is quite nice. And, you know, despite the size of this set, it still does take up less shelf space than if you had all 11 seasons in one big, massive uh, collection. Um, yeah, so uh, big thanks to Chris again, even though it's years later, but I cannot possibly express enough gratitude for this uh, collection. It's just a fantastic collection. And I want to mention another way in which Fox did good by the fans. Uh, for the first time ever with these DVDs, you can actually see the show was as it was originally intended by the makers to be seen, i.e. without the laugh track. Yes. Now, if you prefer it as originally broadcast, the version with the laugh track is here as well. But as an alternate audio option, you can watch it without the laugh track. And that's for all 11 seasons. And I have to say, having watched uh, at, at least the first season, I haven't watched anywhere near all of them yet, but uh, uh, having watched the first season without the laugh track, boy, you can really appreciate just how brilliant the writing and acting was in this show when you turn off that god-awful laugh track. Uh, it doesn't need it. It really does not need it, and I think it makes it a much better show not having it and just letting the humor and the performances stand on their own as it should be, you know? I mean, to me, a, a lot of the best comedies that I've seen had not have have laugh tracks or if there was laughter it was because it was filmed in front of a studio audience if it's a studio audience that's different i don't mind that because that's a whole different kind of thing it's not canned laughter it's genuine reactions of the studio audience and that's fine but uh but something like this where it was basically all it's all shot on film all shots in you know closed sets and whatnot um, there, there was no need for the laugh track to be there. I think it was, it, my understanding is it was imposed by the studio because they, they were afraid that, 
you know, because some of the subject matter, I mean, it was very dramatic that uh, people might not realize it was a comedy. <laughs> Typical, you know, studio execs not having any faith in their audience whatsoever. But, uh, yeah, I, I definitely recommend this set and watching the episodes without the laugh track uh, for a whole different MASH experience that um, you've probably never had before. Um, and it's great. It's fantastic. It's just so good. Anyway, enough gushing about this. I, I, I cannot say enough good things about this. I mean, I my parents used to watch this show all the time, as I'm sure a lot of our parents did. And as a kid, I thought, oh, it's that stupid war show again. But as I got older, I saw a bunch of episodes and repeats, and I just fell in love with it. I was like, wow, okay, now I get it. Like, now that I'm older and get a lot of the, the references and the sort of the, the, the more sort of adult humor of it, I guess, um, I, I got why my parents loved it so much. And I realized, wow, okay, yes, this is, this is freaking brilliant. And I watched the repeats whenever I could. Um, but the other reason to get the set, of course, is because if you've seen it in repeats, chances are you've seen the cut-down syndicated versions, which are missing like two or three minutes of footage per episode. Uh, this is the way to go. Uh, and that goes for any old sitcom. If you can get the uncut versions on DVD or streaming or whatever, go with those versus the syndicated cuts. Because uh, when they put a show into syndication, like into repeats, um, they cut out several minutes of the episode to squeeze in more commercial time. Some of you may not have known that, but yes, they do that. So, for example, if you go and watch a show on DVD, let's say if you watch MASH on DVD, having only ever seen the repeats, you're, you're going to see stuff in there you've never seen before. Um, in some cases, they'd cut out the ends of episodes, like the codas of episodes, important moments in the history of the series uh, to make room for syndication or to for, make room for more commercials. Uh, yeah, just avoid the syndication cuts. They are just garbage by comparison and really do not present the show in all of its glory. Go with the DVDs, man. Seriously, this is th this is a rare example of um, of a truly deluxe sitcom set. I mean, it's not often you get a sitcom set like this where you get those audio options and you can actually see the show the way the producers originally intended. Uh, usually things are just kind of slapped on DVD and that's that. Not so with M.A.S.H., Fox went all out. Big kudos to Fox. Holy shit. I can't believe they did something so amazing for the fans. But, uh, wow. All right. So enough babbling. Again. <laughs> Let's get to it, shall we? MASH, the Martinis and Medicine Collection, today on the Multimedia Chronicles. Welcome back. All right, that was that was way too long of an intro. I do apologize. I just I love this show so much, and this set. I cannot say enough good things about it. So let's take a look at it. Down to the black box we go. Do 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 do. All right, this is a big one. Boom! <laughs> Check that out. That is one beautiful set. There we go. And there's the side and the back is the same and then yeah here we go and on this side and there we go so as you can see just a big honking box the whole thing slides out like this and we have a gigantic book look at that get uh, all the seasons there and the movie and the special features very very nice indeed and on the back so let's crack this bad boy open and see what we got all right so first up we have a medical clipboard right here very nice just lift that up and then there's a book you get a book I don't even know what's in this it has been so long since I looked at this set so you get all Oh, it's all photos and... Oh, okay, it's actually an episode guide. So you get a full disc-by-disc -disc breakdown of everything in the set. Very, very nice. And lots of, uh, of full-color photos as well. Very, uh, very nice indeed. So I guess uh, as far as contents, the, the, this... Well, the box, obviously, and then this booklet 
are exclusive to this set. So you will not get that with the individual season sets. So then uh, taking a look inside. Oh, this is going to be tricky. How does this... <laughs> it's very unforgiving. Hold on a second. So if we uh, open this up. There we go. So, yeah, so we kind of go like that. I'm not going to bother taking all the discs out. But as you can see, they are in cardboard sleeves. And they give you a breakdown of just which episodes are on each one. So right here in my hand is the first three seasons of MASH. There you go. So, and they just, uh, oh, wow. How easily do they slide out? There we go. Wow, kind of, uh, kind of jammed in there. But uh, I guess be careful when you're taking them out. I know this was, this was the big complaint just about a lot of uh, complete series sets like this in general. Uh, the use of the, uh, the paper sleeves. Because uh, with DVD in particular, you do run a risk of scratching the discs. So very nice uh, package art throughout. There we go. And then... Uh, Oh my God! It's really, it's really hard. These don't. It doesn't like lay flat at all. It all kind of, as you can see, it all kind of. It's very tight. Um, yeah. Now with Blu-ray, um, paper sleeves aren't as big of a deal, like the cardboard sleeves, because Blu-ray is nigh on impossible to scratch. So you're okay there. That's quite nice. And then. More pictures there. We got Radar with uh, some lovely ladies. And then, of course, we got BJ. I always thought BJ looked better with the beard. I don't know. Just th that's, that's Maybe that's just me. So this is where we got 10 and 11 and all the uh, special features. And the original movie as well, which is pretty cool. So it's nice that they threw that in. The movie is on Blu-ray. Um, I, I kind of maintain hope that the series will one day be on Blu-ray. I don't know how probable that is though it seems to take a very long time just for it to come out on dvd but uh let's see in terms of extras what do we actually have here let's uh let's see if it gives us a breakdown in the in the booklet shall we so i don't have to go digging around on the discs ah so yeah so season 11 the last disc of disc uh of season 11 is goodbye farewell and amen which is the uh the feature length finale of the series and uh, in terms of special features does it even say I don't think it even says on here it doesn't even say well that's just silly <laughs> yep it it actually doesn't say what extras are on it well there's a bunch of extras as to what they are you'll just have to watch the disc yourself yeah, I'm looking. There's no, there's no extras. Well, there are extras, but they're not listed on here. Um, just give me one second here. I'm pretty sure there was a backing on this as well. I'm gonna see if I can find it on my stack of backings. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, so if we take a look at the original backing for the box. <clears throat> oh yeah, this actually it does actually list the. Uh, there you go. So this was originally on the back. And if we just uh, give it a little read here, I'll just let you look at the pretty packaging. There we go. There we go. All right. Uh, special features. We've got Just the Facts, FAQs, Interactive Trivia Game, MASH, the original 1970 movie that started it all, MASH, television's serious sitcom as seen on Biography on the A&E Network. Oh, that's pretty cool. So there's an actual episode of Biography on here. MASH 30th Anniversary Reunion Documentary, Memories of MASH Documentary, Blooper Reel, My Favorite MASH Promo Spots, Cast Interviews and Clips from the Last Day of Filming, Public Service Announcements from the Cast, Unproduced Episode Script, Hawkeye on the Double, Jocularity Companion Featurette, and Fan Base Featurette. So that's actually quite a lot of extras. So there you go, MASH, the Martinis and Medicine Collection. A fantastic addition to any classic sitcom lover's uh, uh, library, for sure. 
very very cool indeed uh i absolutely love it um i still have yet to find the time to sit down and watch all 11 seasons but i have watched the uh, first couple of seasons and uh i've said it again i'll i'll i've i've said it before i'll say it again watch it with the laugh track turned off it is so much better that way and uh I cannot possibly recommend it enough. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here just to sort of give you some idea of the... Uh, sorry, i got fluffs on it. Some idea of the texture. Extreme close-up! So can you see that? The the sort of fabric-y texture on there? It's very nice. It has a very nice uh, feel to it. It really feels like something from, you know, from the, the period of the show. Uh, like the, the medical kits or, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know, Foot Locker kind of thing, whatever, whatever. But you know that sort of military fabric texture. It's uh, it's all on all sides of the box, and on there, and on the uh, the interior as well. Like if you sort of look, you can you can see it uh, fairly well there. I think. So we got the uh, the directional signs there. Always like that. There you go. Mash. Martinis and medicine. You can't. It doesn't even all fit on the screen. Anyway. And there you go. So, yeah. Pretty cool set. Um, yeah. Not. I mean, not overly thrilled about the paper sleeves, obviously. But just be careful when you take them out. I mean, come on. People complain and moan about those all the time. But really, honestly, if you're just careful... You can avoid damaging your discs. <laughs> uh, but given that this whole series was shot on film, um, I'm wondering if at some point we'll get a Blu-ray set of it. I mean, that would be fantastic. I, I would love that. And, uh, excuse me, I would more than likely double dip on it just because this is <clears throat> this is a show I will watch over and over again until I'm an old man. Uh, it's just terrific stuff. I still have to sit down and watch all 11 seasons. I mean, it's obviously a huge time commitment. But uh, uh, but it's one that I'll throw on occasionally and just you know watch like three or four episodes and and have a good old time and then I'll go off and do other things for another six months and I'll come back and watch. It's like visiting an old friend, you know. It's just such a great show. Alrighty, that is it for this week's closer look. Hope you enjoyed it. So we'll see you next time. Uh, just I like to uh, say a quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors. Thanks, Patreon sponsors. You guys and gals are awesome. Please do consider becoming a Patreon sponsor because it all goes right back into the show and means I can do more of this stuff more often for you. Alrighty, that is it for me to you for now. So until next time, thanks for watching and sayonara. <laughs>